Breaking news. Enthralling newspaper article captures riveted readers' attention from the very beginning. Find out more about this top story in today's video. Good evening. I'm Jack from Twinkle. Newspaper reports. Articles written in newspapers to inform the reader. Now we know how headlines must capture the reader's attention, but they must also present factual information. The article should also be precise and to the point, putting the most interesting information first. But how can we achieve all of this in our own writing? Let's go to Jack at the writing desk. Jack? Thanks, Jack. Let's start at the beginning with the headline. Now, the point of the headline is to grab the reader's attention and to hint at some of the content of the story. You will use powerful and interesting language. Fast Boy Wins Race is not very powerful, not interesting, and is unlikely to grab the reader's attention. Let's use our best adjectives. Speedy Boy Wins Race is a start, but how about Speedy Boy Triumphant in Race? Your headline could also include alliteration, words that start with the same letter. So how about Speedy Schoolboy Triumphant in Race? How else could we better sum up the story? If the race was close, how about Speedy Schoolboy Triumphant in Closely Fought Race? When writing a newspaper article, you also need to think about your opening paragraph. Now your opening paragraph should be short and snappy and should contain the most important or interesting information first. Ensure that even if the reader only reads the first paragraph, that they leave with a rough idea of what happened. Unlike the headline, this should be written in the past tense. And this opening paragraph should answer six questions in particular. Who, what, where, why, when, and how. A local schoolboy wowed onlookers as he won the 100 metres at the school sports day yesterday afternoon. This answers who, being the schoolboy, why, because it was sports day, and when, yesterday afternoon. And from here, you must write the body of the article. Make sure to split the article into separate paragraphs and make sure to put the most important information first. Try and add further information to the introduction. What time did the boy run the race in? Has he won races before? Include quotes from people that saw the race and include a quote at the end of the article to sum up the story. So in summary, keep the paragraph short and snappy, put the most important information towards the front and make sure you use your facts. Back to you, Jack. Thank you, Jack. So we know how to write a newspaper report, but what sort of resources are there on the Twinkle website to support your children's writing? Jack has been investigating. Example texts, planning prompts, templates. Just a few examples of resources to support your child's newspaper report writing. Start with this example from the Once Upon a Times and analyse the features. Wicked Wolf gets his just desserts. How effective is this headline and why? How about the opening paragraph? Does it answer who, what, where, why, when and how? After reminding your children of the features of newspaper writing, it's time to plan their own story. This activity reminds children of who, what, where and when questions that need answering, as well as the importance of the headline. Then sum up the facts of the story, include quotes from eyewitnesses, and hint at what might happen next in the conclusion. From there, Twinkle have a wide range of templates for a plethora of contexts. Use this generic My News template for a more open-ended activity. You could also write about the events of their weekend or half term, or retell a historical event like Boudicca's Roman Revolt. Whatever report your child needs to write, there's a template for you. Jack, Key Stage 2 channel, Twinkle website. A reminder then of our top story. Newspaper reports, catchy headlines, interesting concise information to tell the reader 
what they need to know. That's all from the Twinkle Key Stage 2 channel tonight. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. From me, good night.